with the rise in violence against Asians. Today I'm at Carson Park for the Defend Our Elders event put together by numerous community organizations in hopes of not only informing but educating our Asian community on how we can defend ourselves in case we become victims. The special guest today was Diana Lee in Osanto and Ron Baliki who showed us several moves that we can take with us. So you're gonna hold on, right? And again, the thing is, it's not to hit with the curve because it's dull. We like this side, right? And all it is is two-handed, just like a two-handed sword or like a staff, and just angle one or angle two. That's it. And I'd rather have you guys work on thrusting. That's one of the easiest things you can teach your loved ones right now if they can walk with a cane or an umbrella. This is another scenario I've seen out there. I'm sure you guys have seen this with the videos. Where somebody falls, right? Now they're on the ground, right? And they can't get up. And one of the things, one of the most important things, particularly like in rape prevention classes or rape, the easiest thing you can start teaching loved ones right now is to kick and don't stop. Not high, because what happens? They can grab the foot, right? Which is another thing, I can go to this, but that's a whole thing. The easiest thing right now I can teach you is to just kick. I don't care which way he moves, I'm gonna just keep kicking and keeping him off me as much as possible. Boom, boom, tell them not, tell your loved ones not to stop. It's the easiest thing until yeah. You know, uh, my manager, uh, Tarek, I got a call from Lyle Amuno, and he was, the, I guess, the mastermind between, you know, putting this all together. And he's reaching out to several other Filipino uh, celebrities that have a martial background like myself. Mm -hmm. And we all are hungry to do our part to serve and to be part of the answer and the solution to this. And so I'm really honored that I could be here and um, channel my my uh, my martial ancestry and heritage. It's very important to me and hopefully that can maybe pot potentially protect somebody out there. Yes, and I know that your hometown or you grew up in Carson, so it must have That's been right. nice to come out here and it share is. all your it's, experience. Yeah, it is. It's surreal coming home, you know, to Carson. Um, I have some very uh, profound memories from my childhood being raised in this community, so it's good to be back. Yeah, and now as a um, female and a very petite female as myself, what are, what is the one tip you would teach us? I know you gave us so many, but um, you would teach us just in case something does happen and we do get assaulted. Well, as I was saying before, every scenario is definitely different, mm -hmm. and so uh, the most I can say is awareness. That's the first step is being aware of 100% of your environment in front of you, to the side of you, and back of you. Yeah. The other thing I could say is um, not only about awareness, but should something happen where in real time somebody does grab you, Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm a huge advocate of the eye jab. Yeah. That's the quickest way uh -huh. and understanding in real time that you want to try to get out of there. Um, run on the front end, but if you can't run, I always say eye jab, elbows, don't stop moving. Yeah. And you know, keep moving until you can finally find that little break. Right. that window to get out and, 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 and run and get away out of the dangerous situation. Because of, you know, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, all the anti-Asian violence that's happening all across the country, you know, there, I think there's um, a point where, you know, um, we just need to put actions towards words. So, you know, that's why I think it was important for us to start mobilizing and getting the community together just to start educating ourselves on just basic, like, self-defense techniques. Right. So, um, you know, I just had to ask, like, some of my, uh, like, celebrity, like, martial arts professionals to kind of help lead the way, um, you know, and you know, they're more than happy to, like, help lend their time and talent to uh, to educate the community. Yeah, you mentioned celebrity uh, martial artists. Today we have Diana Lee in Osanto. How yes. did that come about? Oh, uh, Diana, well, Diana, like, um, obviously, um, she's from Carson, right? So I mm -hmm. thought it was most fitting. But I just reached out to, you know, her and her management. Um, you know, we've worked together in the past, so, you know, I thought this was a great opportunity to for her to come home and then on top of that help educate like you know our community yeah and I hear that this is the first of many can you tell us more of all the plans that you have coming up oh yeah so it's actually gonna be bi-weekly the next one's in um, Cerritos on the 22nd um, and for that one we have uh, Ernie Reyes jr. so we do we have just a um, it's gonna be like every other week mm -hmm. um, but uh, moving forward until we hit like all the big 
enclaves of the Filipino communities, so West Covina, the Valley, yes. you know, <laughs> just like Filipino town. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a, it's a wonderful project that you're doing, and thank you so much for seeing the need and actually doing something about it. Oh. Like you said, um, this, instead of, you know, just talking about it, you're actually bringing people in and giving them tools, hopefully, that they can take just in case yes, yes. they become a victim. Yeah, so thank for sure. You. Oh, yeah, no worries, no worries. And for more information on the upcoming events, where can we go? Oh, they can just uh, go to, like, Instagram, uh, which is uh, at uh, Defend Our Elders, um, and then uh, actually just follow us, you know, throughout, like, other social media platforms like Facebook. Of course, we are very interested and we are very honored to be part of this event because we identify, of course, with the sentiments being felt by our uh, Filipino-American community here and also by the Asia. Pacific Islander community. We are uh, we stand in solidarity with you in addressing this problem of hate against uh, uh, communities of color in the United States. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, I know that you just took office yes. mm -hmm. and um, you've just hit the ground running. Yes. What are some of the goals that you have? Okay. Uh, when I came in as the new Consul General, I noticed that the main issue here for the Filipino American community mm -hmm. is the way uh, consular services are being delivered. They want it to be more efficient and effective. So what I did in my first few days in office is to order that we increase the number of appointment slots so that more Filipino Americans can apply okay. on any given day. And also, I also allowed walk-in applicants for several services. Okay. And we are also increasing the number of our consular mobile outreach programs outside of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And we will also be expanding our Saturday consular services. Wow. So these are initial steps that we're taking. Mm -hmm. uh, and we we hope that even though these are just small measures, it would tremendously improve the way we are delivering basic consular services to our clients in Los Angeles and neighboring areas.